Welcome to talking about computer science. Today we are going to see how to use the Google Earth API to loop through one image collection. It looks simple, but we are going to see that depending on what kind of operation we would like to perform over its images, there are several limitations. And then we are going to see how to build a loop structure that we can perform such operations without problems. So let's understand um, how to proceed. First of all, we take here one image collection using Landsat satellite. Then we filter for one specific geometry that was already defined. It's this region here. This, this geometry variable is defined here, here above in, in the imports. Okay. And then we perform here the filter based in one set of dates. Okay, then we receive one image collection. When this code in one initial state, we can see that this collection, after performing the filtering based in the geometry defined and in the dates, we receive, as we print the collection here, we receive 11 images. We can see all of them here. Okay, so I have 11 images, but how to loop through them to perform one specific operation? The most uh, typical approach is to perform some kind of map or iterate function over that. Okay, it's because when we use directly one image, we can get just the first. We do not have methods to get one specific index. It's very limited to loop through images using the image collection directly. Then we need to transform that in one list using this method image collection has one method to list then we say from which position and to which element we would like to create the list so this instruction here we are going to transform the collection in one list object taking our elements but we need to know we need to identify what is the size of this collection how much images we have there and then here as we have printed the object we do not have this information directly. So we have to go to this filtry, filtry's attribute, and identify it has 11 elements. So it's like we have done here. We need to use the get info that may transform this, this object in one accessible object to its attributes. And then we can access the filtries and then ask the length of that. And he, he received the number 11 for this situation. Okay, so we have the end, and then we can, here, it's a very important point for this purpose, we have the list with the complete uh, set of images. But these images are very limited to loop through them directly, because if we read the, the API, they will suggest you to use map or iterate, that is, is better, but look here what will happen when we execute that. Theoretically, this map function has to loop through all images inside this list and print the image in the screen here in the console. And let's see what we are going to receive. You see this error message here? It means what? We cannot um, execute this kind of operations like print, like later on the add layer. We cannot do these client side operations directly uh, inside loops. But sometimes we need to do that. We need algorithms that need to process these information in, in client side. So what you do, we cannot go through this way. Then we could do one standard loop from zero until n that we know the n, iterate one by one. Okay, so here we are going to iterate one by one. And now we have the list. With the list, we can access directly one specific image. So we could access the image index 0, index 5, and so on. So we could access all of them. But once we have executed the two list method, it's not directly the same image. It's a copy of the image. It's one computed object. And then, again, a lot of restrictions about how to, to use that. You are going to understand that in this point. Um, here, we have directly the, the image from the list. And here we are rebuilding a new Google Earth image, passing as a reference the copy of the image that has all this information, like its ID, 
that is enough to recover the image again and print they side by side take a look of what we we have here when print them let me execute again when printing them side by side here here we have for every index we have the copy the copy of the image and the original image that we rebuilt using this e dot image function okay so look the attributes are exactly the same type image type image id id the same id no difference the same version the same amount of bands the same properties and if i open bands i have the same values it's because it's a copy the difference is that one is a computed object and other is just one reference for one google Earth object so it's on back end it's on server so printing side by side it look equals but here if i try for example to add a layer that's this we are going to see that later to add this layer if i try to set the copy of the image that was produced by the to list method look what we are going to happen here if i try to create these layers using the, the copy of the image cannot add an object of type computed object to the map so that's the reason it's not so simple loop through the list i need for each element in the list rebuild the original object so here I have the original object again based in this in the exactly index so i can now use this object to add in the map and then here we built the the label of the layer and then now when executing you could see that the layers that we are going to create have exactly this 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 label image semicolon and then the index so uh, here it show all of the image together but if i take out the index we can see one by one okay we have some yeah the image six okay so here no no layer so now i can have access to each individual image directly so image eight it's here image seven it's here so we, we have now looked through all the the images from the image collection and process them in, in client side without problem okay in this code we have some additional code here just for helping like center um, the geometry on map so that's because when i run it's already show here exactly in the point uh the images are so it's a very simple function that taking the ge geometry object identify its coordinates and already center the map and here some apply scale factors that is important for making the image visible in rgb um rgb information specifically for collection two of landsat so that's why i have this scale factors here but it should not be mandatory depending of which which collection are you utilizing okay the link for this code is available in the video description and thank you for watching see you next time